So today we are going out to Sous Baptiste. It's about two hours from here. And we're going to be doing videos for our organization and checking in on the church and school. And so I thought I would just give you guys a little glimpse into um, what a day um, in the life of our family here looks like. Today is definitely a different day than a normal day, but we'll see how it goes. So we're on our way to the church and the school today and um, it's funny when you get ready to go somewhere here in Haiti, um, it's a little different than the States. Um, you have to think about bringing toilet paper and hand sanitizer in case you have to stop alongside the way somewhere to use the restroom. And, um, and just other little things um, from snacks to uh, tons of water just because you don't know how long you're going to be out and so um, we're ready to go. So we had to stop because Jim found out our brakes weren't working, so we are now pulled over waiting to see if someone else can come and switch cars with us. Correct. When I go to push the brake, it goes all the way to the floor and I can't stop. We made it, yeah! <laughs> so the building behind us, that is white, that is the church, and then across the street, you'll see the parsonage coming into view, and then where the kids are playing behind that is actually all of the school building. And so that's where we were. The pandemic has changed things a little bit with how we do ministry here, at least for the time being, since usually we have a ton of teams coming in, which we go into a little bit more detail um, with the video that we have on our channel that talks about what we do here. So one of the big things we're trying to do right now is bring Haiti to America. Our teams come down and go to the same church every time they come down to develop and build the relationships with the people so they really grow to love each other on both ends and ask about each other and actually one of the videos i'll have to send to the church is a group of ladies here at the church said we miss this girl and can we send greetings to her and so they um said hi to her and i know that will be mean so much to her and so we go and we are trying to be that gap right now that bridge right now where we're taking videos we're interviewing the pastor and the the churches and the schools and we're seeing how things are going how are the students how any prayer requests how any updates on projects that maybe the church in the states was helping them with um, how is that coming along and we show updates for the church in the states to see we give each of the churches updates and prayer requests from each other so they know how to pray for each other and try to connect them that way since the pandemic is separating them physically right now um, so they can still have some kind of um, communication with each other, which is really awesome. And we've heard great feedback from them on that. But we definitely can't wait for the time that the teams are back and we get to go out for the week and stay in the village with the church and the school and the people and develop those relationships and continue to empower and connect and train and um, disciple and it's just so awesome but in the meantime this is what we're doing and we're having a blast doing it so we're back from our day of travels as you can tell my hair does not look the same that it did this morning you guys it is a hot day in Haiti and so um yeah I think about not even half an hour into the video I had to throw my hair up <laughs> it was so hot so we had an interesting time as you saw you know um, the brakes went out <laughs> but praise God it was on a flat stretch and my husband noticed it we weren't going too fast and so he let me know when we were in this little town and or this like little little village and he said I think there's something up with the brakes I was like are you going to test it and he's like yeah so after we got through and there was no one around us then he tested it and he's like yep we don't have brakes and I was like okay so <clears throat> he was able to stop and we 
only had to sit for like 30, 40 minutes um, to wait for uh, a couple guys from our ministry to come and bring us another car. And they brought tools to work on that car. And then we kept going on our journey. So we had a two hour drive there. And I think we spent about an hour, hour and a half at the school and the church and the pastor's house. And then another two hours drive back. Beautiful drive through the mountains. You get to see the ocean. Um, just a really, really pretty drive. It's so hard for me to try to get the footage for you guys just because um, of the windows. The windows just, you know, they just don't show good footage. And then you got a million cars passing by. It just makes it a little harder. But we had a really good day. Um, you know, it's really fun doing these videos and getting to see each school and church and, and learn more about the people there and getting to hear what good things have been going on or what things that they need prayer for or help with. And um, the kids were so excited when Jim got his drone out to do, we've been doing um, area, aerial footage of each church and school's property to show their partnership church back in the States. And so when he got it out to do that, the kids were just like going crazy. They thought that was so cool. But anyways, needless to say, great day productive day came home was starving and so thankfully had some yummy chicken and rice and avocado which they say zaboka here for avocado deary for rice and pool for chicken so um i'm exhausted you guys and i still have to read their lesson to them and still it's testing week for us um so they have a couple quizzes they have to do today and um, we don't test at all throughout the whole year. Like, we're not a testing type of family. Um, I figure out kind of what they're doing and how they're doing by other means. Um, but I had never tested them, and I wanted to just kind of see where they are. So we're doing the cat testing this year, and so that's what they're doing this week. And I still have to get their test, you know, get them set up for those today and um, read to them and do some lesson stuff and... I have a language lesson myself, my Creole lesson, and I'm so exhausted, I just want to sleep. <laughs> Someone wake me up. But anyways, I hope that this was a fun video for you to just kind of have a little glimpse of an odd day in the, not, I guess I wouldn't say odd. What I would say is, what I mean by odd is an, a non-normal homeschooling day for us. So, on these days, when we're going to different places. Um, sometimes we'll bring one of the older ones with us and that's really cool because they get to do ministry with us. And sometimes they'll do their school in the car, sometimes they'll just wait till they do, you know, get back home and do it. Um, and so it days look different, but you know what? That's the beauty of homeschooling is that this kind of day can happen, right? And we're almost towards the end of the school year anyways. We're finishing up next week. And so it's, you know, it's not like they're missing much anyway. So, but they had a good day. They got to bring their bunnies inside and play with them. And those bunnies are so spoiled, you guys. But anyways, it was really fun. We're finishing up North America. We are in Cuba today, which is just our neighbor to the north. So, um, for us, nah, I'm not saying for you guys because I don't know where you live. But anyways, I'm rambling now because I'm tired. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys next video.